in Trump's economic report of the president, he expresses worries that ideas of socialism are again being debated in the United States. And he attacks these on two grounds. Trump has argued that mortality rates are higher under socialist regimes. What is your response to that? Basically, it's wrong. If you look at China and India, which are countries who have comparable level of development, and look at the death rate and life expectancy in China versus India, India has far worse death rates, far lower life expectancy than China. Same applies to Vietnam. Vietnam has very good life expectancy compared to other Asian countries. Now, the example they give in the report is a famine which occurred in Ukraine in 1933, which lasted one year, and there were probably about 1.4 million people, 1.4 million excess deaths in that year, as a result of, it's disputed whether it was bad economic policy or bad weather. But this was in a underdeveloped, primitive peasant economy, and such economies periodically have famines. If you look now at the 1990s, after socialist policies were abandoned in the Ukraine, and it became a capitalist country, and look at the excess death rate, which started as soon as they started having capitalist policies, you can see that there's an immediate rise in the death rate in Ukraine. And if you take that over the next 12 years, you find that about 3.4 million excess people have died in the Ukraine due to poverty and ill health and unemployment, which has occurred since the change from socialism. So about twice as many people have been killed as occurred in the worst year or in one bad year of famine. Now, if you, if you take the comparable figures for Russia, you find that in the 20 years after the socialist system was de demolished, the mortality rate in Russia rose by about a quarter each year. And an extra 12 million people, there are an extra 12 million premature deaths in Russia in the 20 years after the restoration of capitalism. So it's quite clear that in a controlled example, where you start off with the same country and change the social system, the death rate rises. But this is not just something you see in Russia. There's rising death rate in the United States as well. The Nobel Prize winner two or three years ago, Deakin, got his Nobel Prize for having established that the death rate was rising among white working class people in the United States. And this, if you dig into the figures, why is it rising? It's rising due to the diseases of poverty and despair. Rising number of deaths from alcoholism, rising number of deaths from poisoning, which when you follow it down is opioid addictions. And uh, overall, for the first time in modern history, the United States life expectancy is declining. So the basic facts are that the very country that Trump is talking about has got the worst figures for that. Other developed countries are not showing a decline in life expectancy apart from Britain. And Britain is showing the same kind of decline in life expectancy since the Tory policies of austerity. Trump has argued that growth rates are low under socialist regimes. What is your response to that? No, they're not. Um, which country is doing best in the world for growth at the moment? It, it's, it's China, not the United States. The United States growth rates are sluggish. The developed capitalist world in general has had declining growth rates since the 1950s. The average growth of productivity in these countries is around 1%. It's really poor. Meantime, China is shooting ahead and it does that because it has high levels of investment directed by the government. 
the other countries don't. And if we take the another controlled example, take Russia, when they introduced free market policies, they promised that this would result in a burst of growth. What happened? The whole economy tanked. If you look at the, the figures for growth of production, even 10 years later, production was way below what it had been in the last years of the socialist system. I was at a conference in Russia last year and they said they, they, they were proud that they now got to within 15% of where they'd been in 1990. So that has been an absolute disaster. Whereas if you go back to the other period, when they first switched to having a socialist economy in 28, they saw a huge burst of growth. And they saw a huge burst of growth when the Western world was in the midst of a recession. So the actual historical evidence, as opposed to the propaganda, is precisely the opposite of what Trump is trying to claim. Socialist economies historically have had high rates of growth compared to capitalist economies. And when you switch to a free market policy, the growth rate tanks and the economy declines.